Kicking off the hour, joining me in studio now is a Professor Jacqueline Odwal. She is a nominated MP and uh, we'll also be speaking to Lydia Mukami Mwaura, who is the chairperson of the Kenya Women Candidates Network. She will be joining us live from our city centre studios as we take a look at the political climate in the country just a day to the repeat a presidential poll. And uh, we have a lot of things happening in the country, Professor, court cases that are mm. still ongoing, NASA insisting there will be no election. Um, mm. Jubilee and IEBC, on the other hand, preparing for an election. I would ask this as a woman member of parliament or mm. as a female member of parliament. Does the current situation worry you? Yes, it does worry me, particularly because I see that there is a lot more focus on politics. Mm. Because as you know, um, it is a clear idea that um, every five years, we need to determine who it is that would be at the leadership. And the process of doing this is normally politics, which is really persuading the voters that you are the person who has their best interest at heart. And how you engage with politics, the focus is that you be the winner. And most of the time when you're playing politics, it really doesn't matter what you do sometimes in order to get that. My worry is that um, as a member of parliament and also as a woman, I know that it is extremely important that leadership also be taken into account, mm -hmm. especially when you realize that the temperatures of politics or the happenings of politics or indeed the manner in which Kenyans who ordinarily were very united are beginning to feel either excluded or feel that uh, their voice is not being heard. And so when I look at um, the way that Kenya has had a history of uh, challenges with elections and the opportunity that the Supreme Court gave us as a country, especially the IEBC, I am worried because I know that we are sometimes very loud when we choose to take on those with whom we do not agree, I don't get the impression, though, that we do it in the best interest of Kenyans. Mm -hmm. And as I say this, I just want to go on record mm -hmm. that um, when NASA says there will be no general elections, what NASA really has been clearly articulating is that what happened on August 8th could not really have been called an election. And that this is what the Supreme Court judgment indicated by nullifying that. And what NASA has since then attempted to do is to begin to pick what it felt okay. needed to be done. Yes. So I think when we are at this point, it is unfortunate, but I hope that we will, above everything else that is happening, get back to ask what exactly do we need to lead Kenya? But just in the as right you direction. mentioned, you mentioned that um, in situations where temperatures are very high, mm. there is need for leadership mm -hmm. to cool the tempers. Mm. Do you think there has been any kind of leadership, or well, that's mm. what's lacking currently? I think there has been leadership. I think it will be relative, depending on what people take leadership to be, because leadership can be considered just inspiration or motivation, and you can inspire people to do something that might not necessarily be in their best interest. I choose to think of leadership more as service and a way of ensuring that even people who think they know what is good for them, the leader needs to help them to see, sometimes at the risk of appearing like a loner and being very unpopular, to stand up and say no. The politician normally would not, because the politician will look and will see, okay, this is where people want to go, and they go that way. And I believe that there is a sense in which if we are to look squarely at the facts, I believe that NASA has provided leadership. I think the context and the challenges are that there are times when they have had to take measures that were perceived by people not to be necessary, but which, if you look at it, were the only avenues constitutionally that were available. And I say that because the Supreme Court indicated that there were irregularities and there were illegalities. I think that NASA's first step was to try and tease this out and to talk about them, despite the reaction of a number of Kenyans who felt that NASA was now hitting on IEBC, was bringing too many. They maintained a consistency that if we don't have any reforms, then we really should not be taking Kenyans back to the polls. So then does that mean that you feel like, say, Jubilee or even IEBC hasn't provided enough leadership for Kenyans at this point 
point when it's really needed? I think if we were to go by the definition that I just gave, it mm -hmm. would be my humble submission because I get the impression I could be wrong. And when I say it, I think that the Jubilee can put in their perspective. But I get the impression that Jubilee has been focused on ensuring that an election takes place. And we can see that even now when you hear IEBC, I was in fact very concerned that the chair of IEBC, Che Bukati, would be coming and standing and talking to the nation, saying I am concerned, but at the same time ensuring that things are going on as if it is normal. Leadership requires that you take the context into account. And I believe that from the time that we had the Supreme Court ruling, we needed as a country and the different players, particularly if I talk about NASA, I talk about Jubilee, religious community, the media, and all the others, especially IEBC, we needed to say, we can see where Kenya is going. This is what even the envoys were saying yesterday. We can see, because there's always a sense in which you can look at how people are reacting and you can see where people are going. And it was necessary to pause. I remember the last time when I was here with my colleague, I was indicating that leadership required that we take a look mm -hmm. at whether or not IEBC was independent enough, whether it felt it had the independence, whether it had the competence. And we needed to also say, when NASA continues to say minimum, uh, irreducible, uh, minimums. Minimums, irreducible minimums, do we then get to IEBC and say, have you tried to look at this? Mm -hmm. And we also need to get to Jubilee and then hear what it is that Jubilee has to say with regards to this irreducible minimum, with the only focus being Article 81 of the Constitution All right. to have this election. I would want us to bring in our other guest, your colleague here, Lydia Mukami, who's the chairperson of the Kenya Women Candidates Network um, here in the country. She's joining us live from our city center studios. Thank you very much, uh, Lydia, for uh, coming into KTN News Desk. I believe you've had some of the submissions that uh, Professor here has had to say. Um, in this time, she says NASA is the only group that has offered efficient leadership for these very trying times that Kenya is going through. Would you agree with her on that? No, a big no. Yes. He hello, a big no. Yes, why do you think so? Yeah, because NASA is not the only player in the elections. There are other players. And, and I don't know why NASA really thinks it should be the one dictating terms to IABC and to the country on how the country should move. I've been a candidate myself, and I wasn't given a chance to say what IABC should do. I was given elections uh, acts and uh, electoral code of conduct as a candidate. So I expect uh, uh, Honorable Raira Ondinga, uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta, and, and other candidates to really adhere to the code of conduct of the elections. Then do you believe that IEBC has been up to task so far with uh, how things have been unfolding in the country and with just a day to the presidential poll? Uh, I was quoted today saying something uh, to the effect that IEBC, I think, uh, really is prepared unless I start to be corrected. Because as I stand to see, the election materials are in the country, uh, poll agents, poll um, officials, and everything else that uh, looks like it entails an, an election is already moving on. So p perhaps I need to tell our NASA uh, friends Really, we can't wish the election away. And, and I do believe elections uh, in Kenya are uh, guided by the law. Uh, IABC is guided by the, the law, was ordered to actually conduct an election within uh, a certain period. And that period is uh, coming to, to be on 26th of uh, uh, October. So I don't know what really NASA wants IABC to do because IABC should be operating within the law. And, and I keep also saying, look, NASA went to court. NASA was uh, 
granted prayers on uh, nullification of the presidential uh, elections. And, and so NASA should have gone out, campaigned like other candidates, yeah. and waited for Kenyans to give their verdict. Okay.